Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 2 of the Pokemon Truck Series. Today we're here at Portland International Raceway for the running of the Linux 225. It'll be one last road course test excluding the Gravicity Zone 11 Rovo Race for the Truck Series here this season. On the poll today we have the 12 of Connor Hurley and the 92 of Joey Trickle who won our last race. We'll start on the front row as well. 15 lap showdown around Portland in this tricky road course and uh, this is the last time you'll see the trucks on a road course this season so we'll see if they're gonna be able to run it really well here we go green flag is out at Portland this 15 lap race on the road course and a great run for Connor Hurley great start for him in that 12 truck Oh boy, we got a pile up. A couple, a lot of trucks spin on that first turn. Oh no, 20 spins. Alexio Antonio just went around on that corner. And uh, caution's already out because of those drivers spinning. But Connor Hurley's going to race back to the caution, hoping, hoping to keep the lead. Racing back to the line, here comes Trickle, down low, can he get that lead back from the 12? No, it doesn't look like that's going to happen, Hurley in front. And the caution came out for this wreck here. Oh wow, 25 got hit by the 18 on the in the bottom and then they go around along with the four truck and the 20 and some other trucks also were caught up in the mess. Matthew Mdev was also involved. And look at this, a big mess here. Oh no. That's how they got hit. A lot of trucks all hit on that first lap. Yeah, that's not really good. Ryan Pritchard, what happened? Did someone spin him out? I think, yeah, I think the 52 was the one that spun Pritchard out on the very first turn of the track. Yikes. So Pritchard spun Ish Taylor and uh, Sakully and a couple other trucks involved. Caution's out first time today, and now the lead is going to continue to be Connor Hurley's. We're going to go back to the restart momentarily, and back to green. 25 is the only one that's out of the race on the first lap. Really, um, really weird. And Vargas and Orocha are off track. Made contact, no full course caution yet. And they're going to get back to speed on the track in a very slow pace. Wow. That's not great. That just does not look good. Two cars just spun, but no caution has been pulled. And so we stay the green flag. Connor Hurley is in front right now over Joey Trickle as Trickle's trying to win two in a row. He won last week at the crazy ORP race. Our Lucas Oil Raceway, I should say, from there. It was a crazy one. But after the but now the X and Cup are both at Richmond and the trucks are running at Portland, but some of these guys are gonna have to travel all the way to Richmond and uh, after this race. Because some of them compete in the X-Series. I believe Hurley also is in the X-Series. So we'll have to see him. Well, So after this race, he's going to travel over to Richmond to run the X-Race at, uh, at the track. But he's hoping to go to Port, hoping to stay in Portland and get the win. Not a lot has been happening so far in front. 
There has been some beaten banging now in the back, though. It's just Taylor's trying to get by Arena McShane. I think Jeff Bright's the only car out of the race in that 25 truck. So, his day is already over. And he's now on his way. And he's also an X-Series driver. So, he's now on his way to um, Richmond for the X-Series race later. You can see that why the turns are and um, and narrow the road is so one little mistake could cost you precious time that's what these guys are all been trying to avoid no caution uh, again so it's surprising they've stayed clean we had a little bit of a little bump in the back but other than that though that did not bring the caution out Eight laps to go here at Portland. And now the racing has gone down a little bit, but somehow, someway, these guys are doing a great job at running in the corners. So, I gotta commend them for running really easy corners here at Portland. We rented this track before, by the way, for the Pokemon um, Indie Series. They ran at this Portland Raceway track. And it was a success. It was an exciting race there. So now the trucks are back in Portland for another road course test. And they're doing pretty well. Now the field starts to separate a little bit. Oh, look at Pritchard. He's trying to block one of the cars there. It looks like Chloe Wizakirk is going to try to pass her teammate, and she does. So the 13 truck is up to third place. And that's um, Monica Justin, the 98. And now here comes Jefferson. Joe Jefferson going to go for the um, fourth position now. Ooh, wow. Just went a little loose there. Almost had contact with the 21 but able to continue the race somehow. Wow, a little scare there by Just had a bad run and uh, now drops back. Oh wow, something's wrong with Just. Her steering is not being as efficient as she wanted it to be. As you can see, she almost went in the grass. So uh, they got to be very careful how they steer the cars because the turns are really, really big. And it's going to need a lot of precision, precision, precision on those corners. So yeah, anything could happen now at this point. And Wizardkirk's up to third place right now as she has got a long ways to go to catch up to the top two. Top two has so far not changed pre since the uh, start of the race, pretty much. But it's all been about Connor Hurley trying to add another win before get to the, before the playoffs. And uh, the next race happens to be the regular season finale at Gravis City. So a lot's on the line here today. Playoff spots potentially on the line. So Connor Hurley trying to win again to get himself in the playoffs. Same for Joey Trickle. Both are have wins this. Both are winners this season. Trying to get in the playoffs. Oh look at Connor Hurley trying to. I mean Joey Trickle. I mean I'm sorry. Joey Trickle trying to close in on the 12 truck with six laps to go. And he's got a little bit closer. Oh no! Well, look, it looked like he got a little closer than um on the replay, but well, according to the board, he didn't. Sorry, just the phone rang while I'm recording this, so I apologize for that. Uh, yeah, my phone's been ringing lately a lot while I'm doing these recordings, so it's kind of pissing me off. But yeah, well, you can't control that. Unless if you, like, disconnect your phone, but I don't want to. I might get an important call for some for something, so can't disconnect my phone while recording. 
You never know, though, because, yeah. Life. Connor Hurley's Connor Hur Connor Hurley right now is five laps. Connor Hurley is just five laps away from continuing from um leading every single lap to win this race. And it uh, looks like Connor Hurley, um, so I do apologize for this. There's like a lot of talking in the background. I am so sorry. I had not anticipated this happening while I'm recording this race. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to say say something here, but with the background noise behind me, um I just can't really focus. So I'm so, I apologize, guys. I never intended for this to happen while recording. It just it's kind of weird. And we just saw Joe Jefferson lose a position, and Monica Just is up to fourth. Wow, Jefferson took a bad run on the corner, and he's going to lose another position as well to Joe Jefferson. I mean, Zeke Scott. So Joe Jefferson drops two positions on that lap, losing his concentration like I just did um, earlier, but wow. Zeke Scott's up to fifth. Uh, sorry about that weird pause there in the, uh, early on, like I said, but four to go at Portland. Not much excitement going on, but these got, trucks are trying to run their the best they can. There's Brendan Falwer looking low, possibly trying to get by Angie Brown. Ryan Raver, though, is right behind the 75. Will he have a chance to pass? Oh, man, a little tight there. Oh, fall were nearly loose. Wow. Fall were nearly got loose there. We don't want to have a caution happen now at this point because it would force over time possibly with almost three to go. And then this race would be completely wide open. I'm sure Connor Hur I'm sure Connor Hurley doesn't want that to happen, so. We'll see if Connor can make it through with three laps to go at Portland. It's been all about the 12 truck today as he's trying to hold off the 92 for the win. Last time the 92 trailed though, he got a last lap, he was able to win in overtime on the last turn pass and, win and uh, take the checker. So will Joey Trickle though? I meant to say Joey Trickle. Last time Trickle won in ORP, um, he and he got a last lap pass in overtime to win. So now he's hoping for overtime again, so he has another chance to get that to get that pass. We've seen a lot of cars slipping on the corners, so Hurley's got to be careful not to do that as the leader, and he's got to hope that overtime doesn't come. Just two to go here at Portland. Oh, look at Hurley really closing in on that 12 truck. This could be a finish for the ages. Hasn't been a lot of fun in action in the race overall, but we could see that on the we could see a great finish ahead. Two have pulled away against one another, and here's a full layout of the entire track, just so you know what it looks like. Despite getting a lot of distractions in my part from my end, um, we're still able to do this race. And it looks like the 12 car Connor Hurley able to pass by and get the lead and able to pull away a little bit over the 92. Looks like there'll only be one caution this entire race here in Portland, and that's probably what the 12 likes to see. Coming to the white flag with one lap to go, will Connor Hurley hold on for the dominating win? You're about to find out. Connor Hurley was much better on that lap than he was on the last, on the neck, on the one with three to go. But is it enough for him to hold on for the win? 
Connor's trying to win again here in the truck series. Can he hold off Joey Trickle? Trickle might be a little close there. Just a few turns away here at Portland. Connor Hurley started on the pole. He's led every single lap so far. It's been a dominating day for him, but will he hold off the 92 at the end? Final turn. Last chance for Trickle. One more move. Here he comes. Can he do it? And it doesn't look like he will be able to. And Connor Hurley will come off the final turn to win the Linux 225 at Portland International Raceway. So a great Connor Hurley dominates with ev leading every single lap to win at Portland. And a great finish here at this road course. So that's it for road course racing here for the trucks this season. I'm sure they had a lot of fun riding road courses at trucks. But now it'll be the penult and now it'll be the regular season finale coming up next for the truck series at Gravis City Zone 11. We won't be revealing the points and the um, st statistics until after the X-Series race at Richmond. So after the X race at Richmond, we'll show you the trucks and X-Series playoff picture before we get to Gravis City Zone 11. And of course, the Cup Series race will follow after that. But the Cup Series, though, will be uh, ending their first round at Gravis City Zone 11. And they'll move to round two after that with 12 cars left. Hope you enjoy this race. We'll see you at Port we'll see you at Richmond.